Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Zagian. I'm a board certified colorectal surgeon here in Los Angeles. I'm associate professor uh, of surgery at Cedar sinai Medical Center, and I'm also the program director for colorectal surgery. And one of my interests is participating in clinical trials where we can advance uh, healthcare and medicine and the treatment of patients with surgical diseases. I am the site principal investigator of the Safe Heal clinical trial. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about this clinical trial uh, that is for our patients with rectal cancer. So the purpose of the Safe Heal clinical trial is to investigate whether uh, we can one day omit the use of an ileostomy for our patients with rectal cancer. The traditional and standard management of uh, patients with rectal cancer is a low anterior resection, oftentimes coupled with a diverting ileostomy, which is used to bypass the fecal stream from the anastomosis, allowing the anastomosis to heal uh, and then we come back at a later time, reverse the ileostomy, thus allowing bowel continuity. This is the first arm of a dual arm study uh, that will be completed later next year. Uh, the second part of the study will be investigating a new clinical device uh, that is used to stent and bypass the anastomosis in lieu of an ileostomy. At this time, we are recruiting patients into the standard of care arm uh, that is including an ileostomy per standard of care in order to divert the fecal stream. So currently per standard of care, patients with rectal cancer who have tumors in the mid to low rectum or individuals who have received preoperative chemo radiation uh, will receive a ileostomy as part of their standard management. A few great reasons to participate in this uh, clinical trial, even though you will be receiving standard of care treatment with an ostomy, are number one, altruism and helping future patients with rectal cancer potentially avoid an ostomy. In addition, patients that participate in this uh, study will be getting an extra level of care and monitoring through early and rigorous assessment of your anastomosis. As part of the Safe Heal clinical trial, one of the things that we are doing is we're actually doing assessments of the anastomosis early on with frequent and early checks, including blood draws that look for inflammation markers that may uh, tip us off to the presence of a problem with the uh, connection early on after surgery. Uh, we are checking the anastomosis with a flexible sigmoidoscopy and a CT scan, again, early on uh, in uh, the post-operative phase after your low anterior section surgery. And we think that these are benefits that patients may gain by participating in the study because if we identify problems early on or checking more frequently, we can potentially intervene on those problems earlier and uh, this may affect your post-operative course. So there is no additional cost to you to participating in the study and in fact our patients do receive a small stipend for their participation. In addition, there isn't any additional time commitment or anything further than what we would be doing in the standard of care uh, that would be required of you. The monitoring and uh, post-operative -treat post treatment sessions are really very similar to what we are expecting of our patients and requiring uh, for uh, diligent monitoring of your anastomosis and your post-operative recovery in a standard patient who is not participating in the study. So to wrap it up, the purpose of the Safe Heal clinical study is to compare patients having standard of care surgery for rectal cancer with a low anterior resection and diverting ileostomy ultimately to a group of patients who undergo low anterior resection without an ileostomy with a device to protect the anastomosis. I hope you'll consider participating in this great clinical trial.